teach you how to hit your driver further. So what I'm going to use, because it's a really helpful thing, is a T-ball stand. So essentially with driving, um, I want to try and launch the ball as, as far as I can. So with the T-ball stand, uh, it's a good way to actually learn how to do it. So most people, when they first start, they just want to hit the ball. So if I'm doing this action, I'm hitting down on the ball. If you hit down on the ball, which is okay from an iron point of view, but terrible from a driver point of view, what happens is you, is you take a divot or you, you create a lot of spin on the ball, and the ball just goes sailing up in the air, not very far. Normally a slice when you, when you do that as well. So from a club fitting point of view with a driver, what we're trying to do is actually get you hit fractionally on the upswing. So in any golf swing, sorry, just give me a second, in any golf swing, what happens is we start from, from down here, as I swing back, the golf club goes in the air, it comes back down to ground level, and then goes back up again. All right, so because we play on a tilted circle, the golf club has to do that. So it goes up, comes back down, and goes back up again. Essentially, it's a circle. So with our tee ball, to hit the ball and hit it correctly, with my driver, I want to be able to hit it and catch it slightly on the upswing, but I want to be able to be moving forward to hit the ball as hard as I can. So from a driving point of view, what you have to be able to do is you have to get your sternum here behind where the golf ball is. So if I'm going to throw, I'm going to let the ball go over here. If I'm going to play baseball and hit it really hard, I want to hit the ball out here. If I'm playing tennis, I want to hit the ball here. So any of those sports that we play, if you want to hit it hard, you're always behind the ball when you hit it. So from a driver point of view, when we set up, what you want to do is you want to set up with your sternum particularly behind where the ball is. So if I'm here, effectively as I have a swing, once I'm in behind that golf ball, I can whack it as hard as I can. Now, where most people go wrong with drivers, things like that, is they start like this, where their shoulder alignment's a bit open, because the club wants to be behind the ball. From there, they pick it up and they chop at it. Basically speaking, you're going to slice it all day. So, from a driver point of view, get your sternum in behind the ball. From here, as I swing and make my rotation, now I can hit something as hard as I like. All right, and be working through. So that's T-ball. Now, if we go to golf, though, Grab my driver. Okay, so with driver, all right, well, actually, I'll start. So if I do my golf swing, hinge my wrist, turn my body, hinge, turn my body, hinge, turn my body, hinge, turn my body. What happens is I get a low point of my golf swing. It's always here in this case. So if that's, if I put the, the driver head there, I want the ball to be in front of that low point of the swing. So now my low point of my swing's here. It's always underneath your sternum. So, from a driver point of view, if you want to hit your driver further, who doesn't? We all do. I'd love to hit my driver further. All right, but keep my ball on my left-hand side, so over here near my left armpit. And I want my ball, actually, if anything, I tend to get people to start with their club head back because it lines their sternum up behind the ball. From here, now essentially, as I swing, I can hit it as hard as I like and launch the ball into the air because I'm now behind the ball. So that was a pretty good one, hit it straight in the water. So effectively, to hit your driver further, make sure, make sure that the ball's over here, it's on the other side of the low point of your swing. So low point will always be under my sternum. If I hinge and rotate, I'll start hitting the ground the same spot. Always make sure the ball's in front of that. So essentially, I am behind the ball. If you want to hit your ball further with your driver, make sure you are behind the golf ball. You can hit it really hard from here, not so hard from there. And that's how you drive further.